Open Resource Database. This can be accessed anywhere, anytime, by any device using the latest web technology. Founded on commitment. Built on quality. Unrivaled in delivery. Frontier Software is a world leader in integrated human resource solutions. For over three decades, we've been expanding into new territories, investing in fresh talent, and developing the technology to deliver world-class HR and payroll management software to over 1,600 organizations across the globe, both large and small. Our leading-edge products are the result of our forward-thinking commitment to excellence and incorporate a comprehensive range of software modules. We annually invest over 20% of our profits into research and development, ensuring that new products are available year on year, so you get the best possible solution for the ever-changing need.
I'm Mel and I am Choosy. My ultimate skin goal is gusto ko mag even out ang skin tone ko. Hi, my name is Gian Eduardo. My skin goals are to become whiter. It really shows na yung skin ko ngayon mas moisturized, mas glowing, and mas healthy. Thanks to Glutasy, I got my skin tone back. Thank you so much, Glutasy. Every coffee needs a lotus. What's the secret to beauty's beauty? Langis. Ito ba lahat ang gamit mo? Ay hindi. Isa lang ang gamit ko for all. Moringa O2 Therapy Oil. Hindi lang malunggay. Meron ding olive oil and omega from sunflower oil. This therapy oil helps relieve my dry and irritated skin. It helps lighten my scars and stretch marks. It helps make my hair young and healthy. This is our beauty secret. Sana all. Sana oil. <laughs> Distance will always be a problem.
So choose a home that makes life more fulfilling by bringing you closer to everything that matters the most. Arezzo Place Passing. Live fulfilled. Finma Properties. Making room to build your future. The vision of Frontier Software is to supply organizations throughout the world with an integrated, secure, common human resource database. This can be accessed anywhere, anytime, by any device using the latest web technology. Founded on commitment, built on quality, unrivaled in delivery. Frontier Software is a world leader in integrated human resource solutions. For over three decades, we've been expanding into new territories, investing in fresh talent, and developing the technology to deliver world-class HR and payroll management software to over 1,600 organizations across the globe, both large and small. Our leading-edge products are the result of our forward-thinking commitment to excellence and incorporate a comprehensive range of software modules. We annually invest over 20% of our profits into research and development, ensuring that new products are available year on year, so you get the best possible solution for the ever-changing needs of your
I'm Mel and I am Juicy. My ultimate skin goal is gusto ko mag-even out ang skin tone ko. Hi, my name is Gian Eduardo. My skin goals are to become white. really shows na yung skin ko ngayon mas moisturized, mas glowing, and mas healthy. Thanks to Glutasy, I got my skin tone back. Thank you so much, Glutasy. Every coffee needs a lotus. What's the secret to beauty's beauty? Langis. Ito ba lahat ang gamit mo? Ay hindi. Isa lang ang gamit ko for all. Moringa O2 Therapy Oil. Hindi lang malunggay. Meron ding olive oil and omega from sunflower oil. This therapy oil helps relieve my dry and irritated skin. It helps lighten my scars and stretch marks. It helps make my hair young and healthy. This is our beauty secret. Sana all! Sana all! <laughs> Nandito ako nung nagpa-practice mag-bike ng anak ko. Nandito ako nung nag-birthday si Mommy. Dito ako nag-celebrate ng wedding anniversary namin. Distance will always be a problem.
So choose a home that makes life more fulfilling by bringing you closer to everything that matters the most. Arezzo Place Passing. Live fulfilled. Finma Properties. Making room to build your future. The vision of Frontier Software is to supply organizations throughout the world with an integrated, secure, common human resource database. This can be accessed anywhere, anytime, by any device using the latest web technology. Founded on commitment. Built on quality. Unrivaled in delivery. Frontier Software is a world leader in integrated human resource solutions. For over three decades, we've been expanding into new territories, investing in fresh talent, and developing the technology to deliver world-class HR and payroll management software to over 1,600 organizations across the globe, both large and small. Our leading-edge products are the result of our forward-thinking commitment to excellence and incorporate a comprehensive range of software modules. We annually invest over 20% of our profits into research and development, ensuring that new products are available year on year, so you get the best possible solution for the ever-changing needs of your company.
shows na yung skin ko ngayon mas moisturized, mas glowing, and mas healthy. Thanks to Glutasy, I got my skin tone back. Thank you so much, Glutasy. It's nice easing back into old routines. Only now with extra care. Let's do it for ourselves. For our loved ones. For everyone's safety. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Staying safe starts at home. From how we work and learn to the little ways we find joy. If you must head out, take extra care. Making a small effort. Being mindful. They go a long way to keeping us all safe. The health of all depends on each one of us. So let's work together using new tools. Keeping to our new habits to protect the people we love. At work, let's all be good team players. Good morning, how are you? A little distance between us today <laughs> will be good for us all tomorrow. A little care can protect the one thing that means the world to us. So let's do our part.
The views and opinions expressed by the speaker, host, commentator, or other third party in Arriva webinars, e-learning events, and or virtual masterclass are those of the speaker, host, commentator, or third party, and do not necessarily reflect and represent the views and opinions of Arriva. Furthermore, Arriva does not warrant express or imply the merchantability and fitness for a particular purpose of any product information, service, or process presented by the speaker, host, commentator, or third party, and Arriva specifically disclaims any legal liability or responsibility for the accuracy, completeness, or usefulness of any product information, service, or process presented. Finally, material or information presentation, opinion, process, or service by on any trade name, trademark, manufacturer, or otherwise during Arriva webinars, e-learning events, and or virtual masterclass do not constitute or imply Arriva's endorsement or recommendation of such opinion, process, service, item, or organization. Monday to everyone. Good afternoon to our Zoom participants. And of course, good afternoon to our FB Live YouTube viewers. So today is another e-learning session powered by Arriva Academy. Our topic, Filipino Breakthrough Selling 2020, your fast start to recovery. My name is Irish Malanda Samson, your host, and will be the moderator for today. So let's start. I would like first to acknowledge our out of the country participants who are joining us today and they are watching from Jakarta, Indonesia, Ketaling Jaya, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, hello Sir Alex Arelon, Singapore, Bank of Thailand, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and Abu Dhabi. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Okay. And in order for us to have a smooth flow of our e-learning session, here are the following house rules. I just want to like, uh, I just want to know if you are ready, you have your pens and paper with you. Please give me an exclamation point if you are ready. Come on guys, exclamation point please. Okay, thank you Rhea, Danilo, Emil, Mitos. Okay, thank you, they are all ready. And when, please type in hi in the chat box now. If this is your first time watching our webinar, please type in hi and let us know where are you watching right now. Hi, Annalie, welcome to our e-learning session. So Raymond is also watching. Hello, sir, good afternoon. Okay, type in hi now. Rachel Bermejo is watching as well, welcome. Okay, let's do an audio check. Please use the following codes. Type in 111 to show if you can hear me loud and clear. Thank you, Emil, 111. Louise, Maria Cristina, thank you. We have a viewer from Cebu, Liloan, from Grandland, Annalie Baril. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Okay, type in 222 if... You cannot hear me. No sound at all. Two one to one means the sound is breaking up, and there's a log and question mark if you don't understand anything. So far, one one one. Hi, Miss Elizabeth. Adelita. Good afternoon. Okay, moving on. We will be having a quick break later after the presentation of our speaker and before we move on to our question and answer portion. Participants' microphones will be temporarily disabled by the administrator during discussion to avoid interruptions. For questions and clarifications during the provided time after each topic, please click the raise hand button for the administrator to enable the microphone for live questions. Questions will be entertained after each topic of the session. Type in your questions at the Q&A box. Again, at the Q&A box, 
for our Zoom participants. One question at a time will be entertained. For comments and feedback, please scan the QR code. This will be directed to our feedback form. Please send us your comments, suggestions, and suggested topics to discuss in order for us to improve our future e-learning sessions. And now, I know you're excited to meet our speaker today. I'll be introducing our speaker. He has been a salesperson for almost 40 years. His, ex his first experience in sales was working as an account executive of the Philippine education company in the mid 70s. He traveled the whole Visayas and Mindanao selling books, after which he transferred to another company as a field sales manager and was later on promoted as a national sales manager. He has trained over 100,000 people from different industries through his sales training company, Salesman Center. He conducted over a thousand training for corporate and public groups. Perhaps he has even trained the most number of salespersons mm -hmm. in the country. Everyone, without further ado, let's all now welcome Mr. Jun Gari. Today is the day that you decide to become the best salesperson in your life. Now decide you have much more than in time. There's one thing sure that you can claim. So proclaim. Person, you are champion, 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 of the world. Good afternoon, Sir John. Kamusta po kayo? So, thank you, Iris. Uh, galing ka pa yata sa Ireland. <laughs> Kaya ikaw ay Iris. Long time no see. Huh? The last time we were together was uh, eight years ago. If that you remember, during ago. your sales summit. Yes, sir. And the reason is because uh, I had my uh, greatest uh, challenge in my life. Nagbakasyon ako sa cardinal ng three years, more than, for my dialysis. And then it took me over two years to find a donor. So finally, after... Six years, uh, wala nang kidney transplant. Ang tawag ngayon, kidney implant. <laughs> Di ba? Ako na yung tao with a three kidney. Sir oh. June, it was great to know that you're all well and healthy now. Yes, Iris, sabi nga natin, may purpose. Di ba? Kaya I'm still alive, alert, awake, and feeling safe and um, se secure. So with that, uh, let's, let me welcome all of you for joining the meeting of the champions. So bawal lang hindi champion dito pagka narinig nyo itong programang ito. This program was uh, made 1997 pa when I studied mga successful sales practitioner from different industries. Kung sa insurance, meron tayong taga Sun Life na nakita ko, Ito yung mga MDRT, the Million Dollar Round Table or the Top of the Table. Wow. Kung sa mga Philippine Marketing Association naman, they call it the Agora. Ito yung mga awardee. At kung mga sa Sales and Marketing Executive International, ang tawag nila TOPS, the Outstanding Philippine Sales Person. And since I am in the real estate industry, meron din kaming awardee. Of course, hindi pa official. Sa Amerika, ang tawag SAMI Awardee, meaning the best realtor, sales and marketing excellence. So basically, tinanong ko sila, 
Ah, uh, kasi darating na yung year 2000. Y2K, di ba? So ang lahat ng tao takot. Baka kasi daw yung mga computer eh hindi pa na-adjust, baka magkagulo. Kaya kumita yung mga nasa IT company kasi natakot. Di ba? Sometimes you use fear para mag-move yung kliyente. Katulad ng nangyayari ngayon, di ba? Natural fear. We are being tested between fear or your faith. So ang tanong ko lang naman, very simple eh. Darating na ang year 2000, ano kaya yung pinakamagandang mindset, skill sets? Ano yung best approach? Ano yung mga techniques, mga strategies? Ano yung mga discipline at habits na pwede nating i-apply pang 2000 and beyond? Kasi karamihan ng mga salesperson, 2020 na, ang ginagamit pa, nila, pa nilang approach yung mga kasamahan ko nung araw, mga 1960s to 1970s. Yung iba naman, 1980s, 90s. Di ba? So, para bang uh, pinoforce fit nila nung generation nila at panahon, yung style nila. Sabi nga natin, the only thing permanent in this world is change. At in fact, malalaman ko kung ang tao nagbabago kung hindi. Tatanong, tatanungin ko lang. Example, So, Iris, kamusta ka na? Pag ang sagot nila, eto, ganun pa rin. Hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin siya. Pag sinabi ko naman yung, tinanong ko naman yung si JM, o oh, kamusta ka na JM? Eto, ganun, ganun pa rin, or tulad pa rin ang dati. Kung sa Cebuano, ang tawag ang sagot nila, maugi hapon. Meaning, ganun pa rin. Walang pagbabago. Ang hindi lang nagbabago, pag tinanong tayo ng ng mga kaibigan natin, kamusta si Mr., kamusta si Mrs. Ang karamihan ng sagot, siya pa rin. Uh, yun ang hindi nagbabago. Talagang my forever. Bawal magbago, sir. <laughs> okay. So, I will start with a historical perspective para yung mga generation ko, mga, mga Gen X, di ba? At saka yung mga Gen Y ngayon, at saka yung mga Gen Z para ma- 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 maintindihan nila itong programa. Ano yung aking model of the world? Ano yung aking frame of reference? So basically, ganon. Are you still selling in a game that is no longer played based on the habits of yesterday and not the competence and outlook of the present time? So basically, ganon. At ikukwento ko, bakit yung mga... Kasi meron akong database sa eh, 100,000 graduates ko Nakita ko na yung mga magagaling. What separates the average, the good, and the great ones? At saka ano yung mga common characteristics that makes them uncommon? Kasi kung minsan yung iba magaling lang on the first year. Sabi nga namin, magaling sila on the first year because either they are relatively good or they have good relatives. O, diba? E sa totoo lang, yan naman talaga ang unang nabebentahan mo. Yung mga may ka. Diba? Mga kapuso. Kabarkada, of course, nawala na si kapamilya. Uh, di ba? Pero puro mga ka, kaibigan, kapitbahay, kabit, kalaguyo, kapwa, <laughs> mahal ko. Yung natural market. Pag naubusan na yung natural market, nahihirapan na sila outside the natural market. Dito makikita kung talagang ikaw professional. Na kaya mong harapin maging sino man. Kay presidente, kay executive, kay manager, supervisor, kaya rank and file kahit anong produkto at serbisyo mo. Di ba? So basically, ganun ang concept. But I'd like to acknowledge first, sino ang source of information ko? Ang source of information ko, dalawang tao. Number one, yung aking uh, mentor, way back 1983-84, si Tom Hopkins. Yung iba hindi nakilala yan kasi panahon namin yan eh. He used to be the number one sales trainer sa Amerika. And then, the reason na meet ko yan is because when I was in the book business, nabasa ko, nag-distribute kami ng mga different uh, newspaper, magazine, books, journals. Do sa Asian Wall Street Journal, na dinidistribute namin, naka, may, may nag-add siya, World's Biggest Sales Training Company. They need distributor, franchise from different countries. So since ako ay matagal ng ahente, since 1975, di ba? I was attracted. 
And nalaman ko, Tom Hopkins International. So first, I imported these books. Yung first book niya, napakaganda. Ang title pa lang, may impress ka na eh. How to Master the Art of Selling Anything. Just imagine, you can even sell your wife, your husband. Pag ginamit mo yung mga techniques and strategies niya, di ba? Kaya mong ibenta, pero hindi maganda. Kasi manipulation. Di ba? Hindi maganda yung manipulation. So kailangan talagang yung win-win, happy-happy. The gentle art of di ba? persuasion. Sabi nga eh, ang definition ng profession called selling, ni research ko, was way back 1950s pa kay Heinz. Siguro yun ang gumawa nung ketchup na Heinz, H-E-I-N-Z. Ang ganda ng definition niya. Ang definition niya, selling is an art of rendering service. Eh, totoo naman eh. Di ba? We are paid in direct proportion with the service we rendered. So if you have served a lot of people, you give them the right product, the right services, you will be paid because ikaw ang naging service provider. So basically, ganun. So I invited him and uh, nakita ko meron siyang mga kaset. Nung araw, ganun pa ng training program, may mga kaset. You listen and learn. At saka mga Betamax pa. And then later on, naging VHS. And then yan, papunta na sa computer. So... I went there to Tom Hopkins Training Center doon sa Scottsdale, Arizona. I met him and then nag-undergo ako ng training sa Princeton, New Jersey para matutuhan ko yung program at ma-certified ako to conduct his program. And sabi ko sa kanya, sikat ka lang sa Amerika pero hindi ka kilala sa Asia. And that's true. So I touched his ego. Why don't you conquer Asia but start with the Philippines? So medyo natouch ang ego. So pumunta sa Philippines way back April 1984. So we promoted it well and we had 500 participants during that time. Two days sa Philippine Plaza, in general course, How to Master the Art of Selling Anything, at saka yung kanyang expertise, How to Master the Art of Selling Real Estate. Kasi realtor siya sa California. At saka yung kanyang motivational program, yung how to yung official guide to success. So we started with a 6 to 9. Eh nagtaka ba naman ako alas 6? Ginilit ba naman kami ng good morning? Sabi ko may jet lag yata itong taong ito. Siguro narinig ako. Hindi natutuhan ko yan kay Sig Sigler. Whether it's afternoon, whether it's evening, ang greetings mo, good morning. Kasi pagka good afternoon, pinamana ng Kastila, siesta time. Pagka good evening, sleeping time. Pero pagka good morning, you're always fresh and refresh. Sabi nga, pag silay na nung bagong umaga, laganap ang biyaya. Di ba? So kaya magandang i-greet lahat, good morning. So let me greet all of you, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Sir John. Yeah. Oh, so pag ibig sabihin, morning na talaga tayo matatapos yan. <laughs> okay, so oh, sige, let me start. So nung nagsalita siya, alam mo, ibang Amerikano, di ba? Hindi nila naintindihan yung culture ng Pilipinas. At napansin ko, pag nag-joke-joke siya, ang tagal ng reaction bago tumawa. Delayed ang reaction. Tinatranslate muna sa Tagalog, saka tumatawa. So, may problema. So, luckily, at that time, just to acknowledge the another uh, debt of gratitude, na met ko si Dr. Felipe Landa Hucano, the first Filipino anthropologist ito yung dean ng Asian Studies ng University of the Philippines, Diliman. Sa yung speech writer ni Marcos before, yung mga isang bansa, isang diwa, this nation will be great again. ba? Diba? Yung sa ikaulad ng bayan, disiplina ang kailangan. And then nung nawala si Marcos, kasama na siya kasi identified siya kay Marcos. Eh. So kinuha agad siya ng San Miguel. At doon nagsimula yung advertisement na iba na ang may pinagsamahan. Kahit kailan, kaibigan, ito ang deal. Then kinuha siya ng hiyang, Unilever, yung hiyang sa kanya yon And then Nestle, sa, diba, sa mata ng bata, ang ginagawa ng matanda ay nagiging tama. So sabi ko, this is the best combination. Gagamitin ko yung Western technology kasi advanced na sila, first world. At that time, third world pa lang tayo. But kailangan i-fine-tune. 
lagyan mo ng Filipino values. I-integrate mo. Kasi Americans are logical, structural. Ay tayo very emotional. So pag hindi mo yan binlend, fused, magkakaproblema. Kasi pag Amerikano, di ba? You must be objective. Masyado silang prangka. In a very subjective environment. Ay ang Pinoy, kahit mali, you don't say straight mali yan. Normally, sasabihin mo, alam mo, tama yan eh. Kaya lang hindi. So, ganun ang communication style natin. Sabi nga natin, mas masakit ang hiwa, ang masakit na salita kesa sa hiwa ng taga. So, ano pa yung difference natin? Ang Amerikano, very impersonal. Kaya nga, mas nagsimula yung mga credit card eh. Di ba? Ang Pilipino, personalized. Di ba? So how can you be impersonal when the expectations are personalized, personal? Kaya napansin mo, ang Pilipino, kung bakit very sensitive, hindi mo lang nabati, di ba? Ang yabang naman nun. Di ba? Nang palakas lang ang boses mo, sinisigawan mo yata ako eh. Kaya ang expression natin, ang mga Pinoy, KSP, kulang sa pansin. So anong kailangan? KKP, kahit konting, pagtingin. So ganun din yung second uh, cultural difference, di ba? Pwede kang mahigpit, huwag ka lang malupit. Yun ang ibig sabihin. Pwede kang impersonal, di ba? Pero pwedeng magkasadvance. Kasi ang Pilipino hindi nga derechahan eh. Paligoy-ligoy, paikot-ikot. Di ba? And third, Americans are very organizational, pero ang Pilipino man very familistic. So how do you merge those three conflict? Di ba? Ang importante doon, matu- malaman mo yung communication skills, the Filipino art of communication, para magkakaunawaan kayo. So basically, yun ang ginawa namin for the past 30 years. Nakasama ko si Dr. Ocano for 30 years. Tapos natutuhan ko yung program niya. Sabi nga sa UP, si Dr. Ocano naman, professor ng mga ahente. Ako naman, nai-interpret ko na because of observation kung paano i-apply yung Filipino values sa mga different program and I focus specifically on sales training, sales supervision, sales management. Yun ang naging brand ko. Kaya nga dedicated ko yung unang company ko, Salesman Center. ba? Focusing talaga ako sa mga salesperson. So basically ganon, kinumbayin ko. So para mga Japanese, no? Do not invent the wheels because the wheels are already invented. You get their technology, rework it, re-engineer it back, tatakan mo ng Hitachi. Anything he touches, they Japanese. So what we did, we hokanized the program. Diba? In-integrate namin yung Filipino values para fine-tune. Kasi selling is a social encounter. Diba? Like eating, eating is universal. But the way they eat, the Western, very logical, structural. Start with a soup, salad, main course, dessert, coffee. Ay, ang Pilipino kahit anong magsimula, eh, coffee, coffee muna. Salad, salad muna. ba? So, kaya kailangan mabigyan sila ng system. That is written, specific, there is a beginning, and there is a conclusion para yung approach nila systematic. Step by step, how to do it. Right. So basically, yun ang dalawang very important person na hindi ko makakalimutan. And of course, yung ating mga recipient na mga graduate, participants, at katulad ng Ariba, na we have been partner as a number one service provider when it comes to public corporate in-house, sila ang number one. So we have to collaborate because that's the, the important skills right now. Yung communication skills, collaboration skills, critical thinking, creative thinking, and creativity para mag-survive and later on mag So basically, yun ang background ng program. <coughs> Kaya nga ang hashtag namin eh. Too basic to ignore, but it will challenge even the most experienced sales professional. Kaya it's a challenge ko yung mga magagaling na, na 10 years, 20, 30 years. Pag natutuhan nyo itong program na ito, you'll be surprised. You will only learn little things, di ba? Sabi nga natin, pag hindi mo pa alam, it's called secret. 
And then later on, natutuhan mo, aha, it becomes discovery. And then pag marami nang nakaalam, common knowledge. And pag marami nang nakaalam, there is no secret at all. So ito yung isi-share ko na mga system based on the successful practices ng mga magagaling. Di ba? Bakit sila magaling pa rin in 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35 years? Di ba? Ano yung kanilang mga behavior? Ano yung kanilang mga characteristics, traits? At ano yung mga discipline nila? Yung mga habits kaya na-sustain nila yung sales leadership. So that is what I'm going to share with you in our one hour program. Sige, next slide. So ito ang isang at na-attract ako kay uh, Tom Hopkins kasi Catholic siya. So ano ibig sabihin noon? Okay, more or less nasabi na ito, itong aking mga little background. Ang experience ko, 40 years na ako as a salesperson, 35 years na ako sa sales training. So 40 plus 35, sabi nila 75 na. Hindi naman, minus 10. <laughs> 66 years old pa lang ako. Diba? Kailangan mo kailangan ko another 600 year, another 600 years para ako 666. De, joke lang 'yon. Hindi ako yung anti-Christ, ako yung positive positive, di ba? O sige, so basically nasabi na rin ni Iris yung aking background as a trainer, as a salesperson, as a manager, as an executive, as the head of different marketing organization. Just to put some credibility Nung in-apply ko itong program na to, akala ko magaling lang ako sa training. Nung kinuha ako ng Subic Bay Yacht Club, ako yung naging presidente ng marketing arm nila. So ginamit ko yung aking natutuhan sa recruitment and training. And luckily, timing during that time, kabubukas lang ng Subic Bay Yacht Club kasi nasa Amerikano yan ng 450 years. So everything wants to say Subic. At saka, so ginawa yung the biggest Subic Bay Yacht Club, the biggest in Asia Pacific, na meron 300 na parking space or berthing slip sa mga yacht. So ang mga tao, excited na makasakay man lang ng yacht at makapag, uh, you know, kahit one day na nag-yayating ako, di ba, namamasyal ako. They want to that experience. That's why we are selling lifestyle, membership shares. So sabi ko doon, alam mo, mag-focus ka lang sa yacht club in one year papakitain kita ng 1 million. In one year, guaranteed. Pero train kita ng 5 days at saka train kita ng 2 days sa yacht. Para na ikaw member, para ma-experience mo rin what is to be a member of a world-famous Subic Bay Yacht Club. So and after that, talagang monitor ko yan. Meron talaga akong daily activity chart. In 30 days, malalaman ko kung tamad ng tao. Meron akong ratio, 20 is to 4 is to 1 na bago ka makabenta ng at least one, ay ang value nun eh, kapirasong papil. Individual shares, 1.7 million. Ang corporate share is 2.4 million. So ang tinatouch namin, the top 2 to 5% ng mga population natin, the elitist, di ba? the oligarchs. Di ba? Ito talaga yung mga who can afford this kind of lifestyle. So basically, to cut the story short, yung mga na-recruit kong 25 tao, nag-focus, timing, wala kaming kalaban, di ba? Dalawa lang ang yacht club sa Pilipinas, Subic Bay Yacht Club and others. Kasi pangit ang Manila Yacht Club, eh, polluted eh. Kaya yun ang puntahan lang. Kaya yung aking uh, 25 people <laughs> na nag-stick sa akin for 18 months, from 1996, June 1996 to December 1997, the heyday, Kumita sila ng 1 to, 1 to 20 million each that time. So talagang jackpot, nakatiming sila doon. So and then, in-apply ko rin yan after Subic, kasi nagkaroon ng financial crisis, 98, di ba? Ang mga tao, hindi na-click yan. Ang una mong tatanggalin, yung iyong luho, the most expensive lifestyle. So ang natira lang dyan, yung tunay na mayayaman. Siguro 20 to 30 yat na lang ang natira dyan, lahat pinagbili na. Kasi you cannot maintain na yat. Dalawang beses ka lang magiging maligaya pag meron kang yat. Number one, you're excited because nakasakay ka, namasyal ka, sikat ka. 
And number two, pag ipinagbili mo na. Because all your problems are gone. So ganun yung kaibigan ko, yung may-ari ng Hilton sa Cebu. Si Manny Osmeña na may 45 million yacht na nakaparada lang doon sa Cebu. O diba? Ah, uh, yacht club. Aba, ay malaking sleeping assets yan. Pinagbili na niya. It's no longer kasi nakasakay na ako, naka-experience na ako. And then, ginamit ko yan sa Boitis Land, ginamit ko yan sa Casino Espanyol de Cebu, ginamit ko yan sa, sa Hilton Resort at marami pang mga real estate organization. Ako yung mga naging uh, marketing arm or exclusive marketing arm. And I have proven them na pag gagamitin mo itong programang ito, di ba? you are like uh, uh, di ba? The, the, lead, the parable of the farmers pag napapunta itong training program nito sa good soil. Diba? 30 times, 60 times, 100 times, babalik ito. Because this is really very, very powerful program. So, yun ang mga credibility namin na talagang it works. Not only for my own personal use, but a lot of testimonials na mga graduate ko 35 years ago. Like si Andy Manyalak, ng pinaka, isa sa pinakamagaling na real estate na billion-billion, hindi per unit. By the floor and by the building. ba? Diba? So marami pa akong ikukwento sa inyo ng mga successful graduates kung paano nila ginamit ito. So anong ginawa ko? Isinulat ko yung mga kwento nila into actually four books. Yung unang libro, yung Tagalog, Pangmasa. Yung Superb Selling Secrets. Eh hindi naman maintindihan ng mga foreigner yun eh. Nagkaroon ako ng market sa abroad. So pinatranslate ko sa English. Yan yung Filipino Art of Breakthrough Selling. Yan ang pinaka-basic fundamentals na ngayon may e-book na. And then the second part, advance, yung how do you sell from a buyer's perspective. ba? Diba? Na hindi ka na ngayon, dapat ngayon, lalo na sa panahon ngayon na may COVID, dapat hindi ka na seller. Dapat ang dating mo, para ka ng, para ka ng assistant buyer, para ka ng trusted expert advisor, para ka ng consultant, or para, para ikaw mismo, buyer themselves. Para hindi confrontational, di ba? Kasi ang modern buyer ngayon will choose modern seller. Kasi mahirap ang pera, delikado, we don't know the uncertainties. Di ba? So they are looking for professional seller na mag-guide sa kanila on the sales process. Kasi money is my security. Bago ko ibigay yung iyong aking security, baka sa halip ng security, dumami, lumaki ang aking insecurities. So make sure yung binebenta mong produkto will enhance my security at saka yung self-image. Sikat ako. ba diba? The ego side. So yun ang buyer-based selling. Ang approach niyan, behavior-based. Para kang psychologist, hindi na yung traditional na, na masyadong aggressive. Yung breakthrough, diba? prospecting, contact, qualification, presentation, handling objection, closing. Ngayon hindi na. Kasi mas matalino na ang kliyente ngayon kaysa sa atin. Isang click lang sa Google or Facebook, kilala na ikaw at kaluluwa mo. Itetest ka pala dyan. Example, condominium seller ka. Hindi mo pinag-aaralan pa paano gumawa ng condominium. Tatanungin ka ng kliyente mo na engineer from Middle East na balikbayan na talagang nakapag-ipon pambili ng condominium. Tatanungin ka, iho, anong foundation yan? Ay naku, ito, gawa ho ito ng Ayala Foundation at saka Pilipinas Foundation. Tatawa ng kadalang at tatahimik. Why? Because you don't have the technical competence. Kung kinausap mo lang yung structural engineer, foundation specialist, di ba, may ipapaliwanag mo. Ito ho ang foundation, kasi po ito ay mat foundation, ball bearing, o ito kaya ay board piling na pako na ipinako, na napakaraming pako at napakalalim. Para kahit anong intensity yan, etc., kaya nilang i-handle. Remember, They're after their money, security, at saka yung binili na niya. Katulad lang nangyari sa Dabao, di ba? Sikat na sikat yung developer, pero gumuho. Because, of course, baka naging epicenter yon ng earthquake sa Dabao. And the last, ito yung pinaka-modern, yung NLP. That's the highest level ngayon, yung Neuro Linguistic Programming. Na basically, katulad ngayon, lahat ng tao, anong nangyayari sa atin na nakakausap mo? Lahat merong mask. Diyagi, kung may mas sila, anong nakikita mo lang mata? Marunong ka magbasa ng mata. Kaya ang title ng, 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 ng last book ko is 
Effective selling by reading your eyes. Marunong ka magbasa ng mata. Alam mo, kung mahaba-haba ang time natin, titignan ko lang ang mata ng mga participants natin. Meron lang ako itatanong na question. At pag sumagot nila, malalaman ko yung kanilang age, yung birthday, at saka yung birth month. And they will be surprised. Kasi sabi nga natin, your eyes are the windows of your soul. Gumalaw lang ang mata mo, nakatingin ka lang sa itaas, sa baba, sa kaliwa, sa kanan, malalaman ko kung anong klaseng tao ka. ba? Diba? Ang tanong sa akin, Mr. Garing, how did you know? Kasi I'm very accurate. Eh. How did you know? Ay sabi ko, kantahin mo lang yung may Christian Bautista. ba? Diba? The way you look at me. So that's the power of reading your buyer's eyes. ba? Diba? Actually, hindi lang naman eyes. Eh. Body language. ba? Diba? Kasi sabi nga natin, what you say, It's only 7%. How you say it, 38%. Pero yung action mo, yung body language mo, that's 55%. Kaya sabi nung pare sa Kiapo, sabi nung pare sa Kiapo, sa panahon ngayon, marunong ka magbasa ng mata. Kasi ang tinitingnan ng kliyente, tatlong bagay lang. Yung iyong titig, tititigan ka. Yung iyong tinig, at saka yung iyong tindig. Ay nakaupo tayo. Basically, yung iyong dating, yung iyong forma, di ba? yung iyong body language. So, yan ang isi-share ko sa inyo. Three approaches, a glimpse, para makakita kayo ng idea na pag ginamit nyo itong three professional approach na ito, hindi lang win-win. Kasi Amerikano, win-win eh. Sa Pilipino, hindi ganon. Logic yun eh. O pare, win ka ha? Win ka rin. Ano yun? Meron pang nananalo, nang natatalo? Sa Pilipinas, emotion. After the transaction, ang tanong mo, O pare, happy ka ba sa transaction na ito? And then tatanungin ka, o oh, happy ka rin ba? So, mas may dating. Kaya nga binago namin ang definition ng selling. Eh. Professional selling is your ability to stimulate the mind of your customer. But go beyond that, touch the heart. But go beyond that, dig into their pocket. Kasi salesperson ka eh. Pag sinabing salesperson ka, magaling ka mag-sales. Pag wala kang sales, ang tawag ko sa'yo, person ka na lang. Kaya pag hindi ka nakaklose ng sales, iko-close namin yung kumpanya. Kasi lugi na kami sa gastos, sa training, sa tripping, etc. Et so that's the challenge. Are you a salesperson o person ka na lang? So pag in-apply mo to sa closing, di ba selling is easy. But closing is the real challenge, the bottom line. You will always be judged at the end of your monthly, quarterly, or annual quota or target. Let's face it. Yan talaga ang hanap buhay natin. Okay? So, everything clear? Pag sinabi kong okay, say all right. I-type lang yung okay. All, all right, right, Sir Jude. Okay. Pag sinabi kong hello, say hi. Hello. Hi, hi. Sir Jude. Kung meron ditong taga Iloilo, pag sinabi kong hala, ang sagot, bira. At sabi ni Noli Di Castro, pagka inaantok-antok na kayo, kasi afternoon, sisigawan ka. Hoy! Gising. O, sa gising, gising na lahat? Kasi alas stress imedya nang gising na lahat. O, kasi gising, gising. O, diba? Yung, yung mga, ina, mga inaantok, pwede kang matulog. Huwag ka lang maghihilip. Baka magising din yung katabi mo, tulog din. So ulitin ko, hoy, gising. Ah, sige, let's proceed. Okay, so basically ito, you can you can have the ebook Effective August 1 para madali kong may distribute worldwide. Diba? Isang click lang, marireceive mo yung ebook, bayad ka lang sa GCAS or PayPal sa abroad, then more or less you get the book. Then you can share, di ba? Huwag mo lang ibebenta kasi baka naman makomersyalize mo. Kawawa naman yung cost of editing at production and revision. Di ba? Ipapinapag-guilty lang kita sa copyright law. Okay, next. Now, ito yung secret number one. Ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo na 6 o'clock, aba ay nagdasal ba naman ng ganito? Sabi niya, kaya ako champion kasi meron akong champion's prayer. Sabi ko, ba okay to? So, dinasal niya ito three times siya mismo. Talagang iba-ibang iba klase. Unang-una, binasa lang niya. Today, I will win. Why? I'll tell you why. Because I have faith. Walang dating. 
Di ba kasi binabasa mo lang eh, compliance effort. Pero pag dilagyan mo ng emotion, binasa mo yung mga words, ang ganda ng combination ng words, di ba? I have faith, I have courage, I have enthusiasm, success and happiness will be mine because I walk, talk, act, think and believe. Like a successful person, I am becoming, so help me God. Kasi pag ginawa mo yan three times, di ba? Step one, compliance. Step two, lagyan mo ng emotion. Step three, lagyan mo ng action. Body language. Ay pag pumasok yan sa subconscious level mo, repetition as the mother of learning, feel na feel mo yan. Kaya amanta go, nag-training ako doon sa pinakamalaking marketing arm sa real estate. Alam mo, sinaulo lang niya. Pagkagising, di ba? Three times, binasa lang niya yan. Nagtaka yung peres, nauulol na yata itong aking anak at sigaw ng sigaw. Mina mindset niya yung sarili niya. Sa Amerika, ang tawag dito, auto-suggestion, affirmation, self-talk. Di ba? Auto-suggestion. Sa Pilipinas, ang tawag dito, orasyon. So ito yung orasyon ng mga champion. To start the day, right. Di ba? Positive words makes positive difference. Tapos, pita sa ulo ko pa yung champion's motto. Yung 12 golden words na I must do the most productive thing possible at this given moment. Pag in-apply mo yun sa buhay, ito bang pag-attend sa Ariba? The most productive thing possible? If not, leave this meeting. Is chit-chatting this person the most productive? Di ba? Is watching ABS-CBN at saka mga bad news the most productive thing? Is listening to the old the soap opera na mga iyakan, patayan, the most productive? If not, do something else. So ang tawag ko doon, konsyensya ng mga ahente. So sinaulo niya yan, isinapuso niya, hindi mula sa nguso, mula sa puso. Alam mo, nag-feedback agad siya akin. Two days after the seminar, Mr. Garing, I've sold 5 million worth of condominium sa Cebu. Ginamit ko lang itong mindset. Nagigilty ako pagka wala akong ginagawa every two hours. Dapat may kinakausap ako via text by text, internet by internet, chat by chat. So nagiging productive ako, nagiging guilty ako pag hindi productive yung every two hours ko. So yun, another testimonial na doon pa lang sa mind setting, di ba, masi-self-motivated ka, Mag, di ba, mag-move ka. Action. Okay, so let, bibilisan ko lang ito because it will take 30 minutes original nung nung aking research. Di ba? As I've told you kanina, pinag-aralan ko yung mga magagaling na mga salesperson from different industries. Kaya nga sabi ko, <coughs> ang first poll natin, di ba? Tatanungin ko yung mga participants. Lahat ng participants, we have 121. Sino ang mga participants na nanonood ngayon or sa watch party na since 1960s nagbebenta na? 1970s. Check-check lang yun. 1980s. 1990s. 2000. 2010. 2020. Check-check diba? nyo lang yan. Kung sino, whatever. Para malaman ko lang, sino ang, sino ang classmate ko? Mga 1960s at saka 1970s. Diba? So basically, ganun. So yung mga 1960s, wag nang magtataas ng kamay. Obvious naman yan. Bakit? May PhD in selling na yan. Just imagine, 1960s, aba ay 60 years old na yan. Five years pa lang, nagbebenta na ng maruya. Diba? And then later on, real estate na. Diba? Obvious na yan. May PhD na yan. Ano ang sabi ng PhD? Meron ng permanent head damage. Malungkot na yan. May doctorate degree. Kaya hindi mo makausap. Pessimist, humorless, and depressed. Member na yan ng PNP. Bakit? Ang buhok niya, medyo panipis na ng panipis or worse, panot na panot na. O kaya retiree yan ng Philippine Airlines, di ba? Shining true na yan. Shining true. O kaya ang kotse niyan, BMW na. Bakit mo? Buhok, buhok mo, wawalo na. Parang si Papay. O buhok mo, wig na. Si Mr. Garin naman. ko ikaw nga, puro white hair eh. Alam mo, hindi bali ng white hair, wag lang falling hair. O sige, tama na yung joke, joke, joke. Baka mahuli tayo. Sir mga... June, we have a participant. Uh, she started from 2018, si Miss Maria Clarissa. Naku, talagang generation ano, mm -hmm. Z. 
na yan, baka mga 20 years old lang, talagang newbies na newbies. Napakaganda para sa kanya, no? Kaya lang makita lang niya ano pa yung effective nung mga panahon na pwede pa ring gamitin ngayon. Di ba? So yun ang mga lesson learned. Sabi nga natin, experiment fail, experience learn. So we will share with you ano yung mga experience that we learn to avoid trial and error pang 2020. Sige, bibilisan ko lang. O sige. So sino sa inyo ang mga 1960s? Simple lang ang pagbibenta. Dalawa lang yung approach. Di ba? Kung, kung, kung consumer, mag-distribute ka lang to so many store. Display mo lang yung produkto mo. Di ba? Tapos ang approach nun, take it or leave it. Kung ayaw mo, marami naman dyan. So, di ba? It's transactional. Di ba? It's transactional selling. You, you, di ba? There is the need, feel the need. There is a demand, supply it. Kung sa direct selling, kung med rep ka, numbers game. They have to talk to 20 to 30 doctors a day. Kung sa amin, sa real estate, kailangan meron kang dalawampung listahan lagi para meron kang mabibisita. 20 is to 4 is to 1. Bago ka lumabas, meron kang listahan ng dalawampung qualified prospect. Hindi suspect, qualified prospect. Alam mo na yung target market mo, alam mo na yung kanilang affordability at lifestyle. So ganun ang approach. Di ba? Sa real estate, just to give an example, ang magagaling sa real estate original, yung triple A. Sino yon Mga Ayala. Sa, May, sa Luzon. Abuaytis. Sa Cebu. Alcantara. Sa Dabao. Ito yung mga Kastila na talagang silang mayari ng Pilipinas. Talagang saling lahi lang. Kaya ang applause nila, well, kung ayaw mo, marami lang naman dyan. Take it or leave it. Until dumating si Henry C., mga Chinese. Sa halip na take it or leave it, no. Volume, take it and you will love it. So ito yung suki ng mga Chinese. Gagawin kang suki. Diba? Bibili ka ng ganito, bibigyan ka pa ng kaunting sibuyas para maging suki. That's the Chinese way of retail selling. So gagamitin natin ang numbers game. Effective ba ba ngayon yan? Effective kung bagito ka. Diba? The more people you see, the more chances na makakabenta ka. E ngayon, kung yan pa rin ang approach mo, haba, if you double your contact in three months, I guarantee you, you'll double your sales. But at after three months, nandun ka sa Makati Medical Center kasi meron kang gold bed pan. Physically, tatamaan ka. Just imagine 20 calls a day. Diba? Nung araw, hindi pa pwede yan. Lalo na ngayon. Traffic. Pero with internet, digital marketing, kaya mo mag-connect sa napakaraming tao in one day. If you filter mo lang, i-disqualify mo lang yung mga chismis lang. ba? Kaya nga social, ba? Social ito, tawag natin dito sa Facebook, isa social, pang social. Hindi mo na pang business. Build rapport mo na. So sumagot yung San Miguel nung araw. ano sabi niya? Do not treat your customer as an object. Treat them as a subject because they have feeling. So dito sinimula ni Dr. Rocano yung relationship selling. Iba na ang may pinagsamahan. Sinong magagaling noong 1970s? Either you are relatively good or you have good relatives. Kaya nung nag-start ako 1975, that's when I started in the book business. Ang kalabang ko, National Bookstore at Alimars. Ako, PECO, Philippine Education Company. Assign ako sa textbook division. Sinong kliyente namin? Director, principal, at head teacher na nagre-recommend ng textbook. Ang ginawa ng kaibigan ko, si Joe Cortez, pinakamagaling namin, ahente ng Alimars, inanakan niya yung misis niya. I don't know how many. At tuwing binyagan kong pilan, aba, sampu ang ninong, sampu ang ninang. Ay sa palagay niyo, after baptism confirmation, anong tawagan? Mare, pare, ay nako, sa kanya ang benta. Kasi ako very formal eh. Good morning. I am from Philippine Education. Nakabarong pa ako, nakasalami. Pag sinabi kong Philippine Education, akala nila Department of Education. <laughs> Kaya kinakausap ako. So anong approach noong 1970s? Simple lang. ba? Ano yun? Kaibiganin mo muna. Build friendship. In other words, people by people before product or services. Yan ang mistakes ng karamihan ng tao sa mga <coughs> FB. 
sa mga internet marketing, digital. Kaya lang kita kilala, binibentahan ako ba? Binibentahan mo ako? Sino ka ba? No si Bayasi. Di ba? So basically, build rapport. Build relationship. Importante mo, pagkaibigan mo lang. Alam nila, hindi mo ako lulukuhin. Kasi kaibigan na tayo eh. Ngayon, kahit kita kaibigan, pag merong mas mura, mas maganda yung benefits, feature, eh iwanan kita. Kung inabutan nyo yung 349, 1 million sa Tansan, lahat ng loyal distributor ng Coca-Cola biglang nag-ship sa Pepsi Cola. Kasi nag-click yung 1 million sa Tansan. Mabuti na lang nagkamali at lahat ng Tansan may 1 million. Kaya muntik ng magsara ang Coca-Cola that time. So ang ibig sabihin, once you build friendship, develop trust. Yun yung tiwala. The concept of tiwala. Karamihan sa mga ahente, lalo na sa ibang industry, pag, nakaka pag nakakausap ang ahente, yung mata nila may dollar signs, may peso sign, at yung tenga nila may cash register. Ang tingin sa kliyente, ang laki ng komisyon ko dito, kota na ako. Alam mo, nababasa ng kliyente yan, may vibration yan. Kaya tama si Ogmandino. Start with a mission, then you get a commission. Start with a commission, then you get a lot of consumption. So in other words, di ba? Importante muna, service first. So pag pinakita mo yun, then you will be paid by the service you render. Kaya yun ang, yun ang importante. Pakinggan mo lang, listen, serve mo lang, asikasuhin mo lang yan, at saka kung anong pinangako mo, ibigay mo. Reliability. Eh karamihan ng mga ahente, kumisan yan, ang gaganda ng brochure. Pag tinignan yung property, katabi ng squatter, they overpromise and they underdeliver. And the highest level, kasi kumisan i-challenge ka ng mga sa aming industry, no? Iho, pinag-ipunan ko itong 5 million para makabili ako ng house and lot. Di ba? Kung ikaw ba may 5 million, bibilin mo yung iyong property? Ay, hindi ho. Ay, hindi pala eh. Ay, lalo na ako, pera ko ito eh. So, nahuli ka. Di ba? Tines ka lang. Kung ikaw mismo, bibili lang sarili mong produkto. Ay, ikaw mismo, wala kang tiwala eh. Trust, ako pa, ay pera ko to. And the highest level, when you gain the respect. Anong sabihin niyo when you gain the respect? When they think of sales training, they think of you. When they think of real estate, they, they, they think of you. Branded ka na. Pag ang tawag sa akin, Oy, June, Tom Hopkins, Tom Hopkins, naalala nila. Naka-attend sila ng Tom Hopkins. Kaya nung araw ang tawag sa akin, Mr. Garing, you are Tom Hopkins of the Philippines. Sabi ko, no. I am June Garing of America. So, yabang, ano? So, minimaintain ko yung Filipino identity. O, para mga medrep, no? Ang mga medrep nung araw, bilib ako dyan. Ingit na ingit ako nung 1975. Kasi may kotse agad eh. Fox Bagen. Umaten ka lang ng 30-day seminar. Pag nakapasa ka, may kotse ka na agad. So, sikat na sikat sila sa mga school of nursing. Pero sa totoo lang ang trabaho nila, tig-tig sa Cebuano. Tig-hati, tig-bit-bit, tig-pirma, tig-deliver. Diba? Kaya napansin mo yung mga medrep nung araw, siya ay. Siya ay taga-bit-bit, siya ay taga-drive, siya ay talagang siya ay na siya ay. So, after we train them for 30 days, hindi nila alam, hindi pa tapos ang training. After 30 days, may rivalida. Tatanungin ko sila, iho, ikaw ba ay detail man? Ay hindi ho. Nagdi-detail lang. Yun ang worst. They don't have the sense of pride, sense of identity, nahihiya na tawagin salesperson. Ni-report ko yun sa Swilig. May problema yung mga medrip nyo rito. Ang tingin sa detail man, nagdi-detail lang. Kaya immediately, nag-tie up sila sa atin ayo, dyan sa mga Salcedo Village nung araw. Nag Meron silang course, 3 to 6 months yata, BS Pharmaceutical Marketing. So meron silang degree, BS Pharmaceutical Marketing. So may dating. Ako hanggang ngayon, wala pa akong nakikita. After high school, tinanong ko yung mga high school graduate, sino sa inyo ang gustong maging ahente? Kahit isa, walang inilagay doon. I want to be a salesperson. Nobody until now. Di ba? Kaya talagang kawawa ang ahente. Because there is no such thing as graduate ng BSS. May graduate ba rito ng Bachelor of Science in Selling? Wala. Kasi wala namang kursong ganun eh. Sa totoo lang, ang BSS believe sa sarili. 
But do not take your masters. Masyado ko namang MBSLs believe sa sarili. So yun ang 1970s, di ba? Relationship selling. And number three, noong 1980s naman, nagbago rin ang pagbibenta. Dito lumabas yung IBM. The way the IBM sell, naka-Amerikana yan. May dalang attache case. Akala mo, executive, pagbaba dun sa IBM building, dito sa Paseo de Rojas, pagpunta sa opisina, tatanggalin yung Amerikana, yung pala magre-repair ng typewriter. But yung, yung binihisan niya yung, Amer- yung ahente, di ba, nagtiwala. Katulad ng Electrolux nung araw. Ang training namin dyan nung araw ay nak-nak. Pagbukas ng pinto, step forward, left or right. O kaya yung iyong bit-bit mo yung araw yung vacuum cleaner na hirap na hirap ka, maaawa, na doon sa pintuan, papapasukin ka na lang. Kasi hindi naman isarado yung pinto kasi yung paa mo naka-forward doon sa pinto. At ang style namin, ma'am, pre-demo, lilinising ko yung alikabok mo in 5 to 10 minutes, is free. Ay libre naman eh. So ipapalinis nila. And after 5 minutes, kukuhanin namin yung dust bag. Gaganunin namin, takakatutak na alikabok. Ma'am, akala ko ba mahal yung mga anak nyo? Bakit ito mga alikabok? Ay na, oh nga no, na-touch yung heart. Ay magkano ba yan? Ay nako, 15,000. Ay mahal naman. Pwede naman no, kahit mga 5,000 daw. Ay mahal pa rin. Ma'am, kahit na lang 1,000. Ay mahal pa rin. Ma'am, kahit na lang 100. Para mabind yung deposit, kakutsa ba yung credit investigator? Approve yan. Mayaman niya. Nasa exclusive village. Kaya during that time, ang Electrolux, world's number one ng Pilipinas. And then after three to six months, puro poor close repossess. Kasi walang budget. Di ba? Na pressure. Na vacuum pressure. Kaya nung araw, si Greg Achenza, yung presidente ng Electrolux, gumawa siya ng kanta. I'm gonna knock on your door tap on your window. Pag may knock on your door, nag-tap on your window, pag bukas ng pintana, pintuan, naka-Amerikana, ah, naka-Amerikana, naka-long sleeve, may kurbata pa, may trolley pa, di ba? Professional. So, tinray namin sila ng professional way of selling. Kaya nabawasan ang foreclosure repossess. So, yun ang tinatawag na creative selling. Yun ang tinatawag. At dyan din naglabasan yung mga pre mga networking, multi-level selling, MLM. Mga insurance, di ba? Mga pre Anong ginagawa nila? Problem solving. They hurt you, they rescue you. They push you, they pull you. They will make you aware of the problem. They enlarge the problem. Pag takot ka, pa-insure ka na lang. Sasabihin sa'yo, pare, mare, mahal mo ba ang pamilya mo? Of course! Pag nagbabiyahe ka ba outside the country, outside for convention do you leave money to your family of course ay eh kung hindi ka na makabalik natakot anyway pare mare di ba may solution ako sa iyo kung hindi ka makabalik magpa-insure ka lang at least kung sa anong mangyari sa iyo your wife will be secured on her next husband <coughs> so basically yun ang joke nila they are <coughs> they are highlighting the debt benefits ay ngayon, may mga life benefits na, may mga term, invest the difference. Di ba? So basically, yun ang, yun, yun ang mga problem style of selling. You give the problem, you give the solution. Para mga racket ng networking, you know? sa halip na magbenta, recruit lang ng recruit. Pare, mag-recruit ka lang ng dalawa, binary. Di ba? Pag nag-match yan, darating yung check eh. So yung sa probinsya, pinagbili yung <laughs> kalabaw. Nangutang. <laughs> Sir Jun, would you like to pause for a moment? Would you like to drink some water first before Sige, we continue? Sige, taposin ko lang itong 1980s para maganda yung posing ka. So basically ganon, everybody's recruiting, nobody's selling. Kaya ang tao nawawala. Racket. Official, actually, ang networking is a good way of distribution. But wag mag-shortcut. Start with selling. Pag magaling ka na, start recruiting because you cannot give what you do not have. And then, start training para you can multiply. And then, yung technical advancement. Nabigay ko na naman example. Di ba? Kailangan may technical knowledge ka just like condominium. At saka dyan nagsimula yung customer service. The customer first. Customer, di ba? At saka yung creative selling. Dito na feature yung aking graduate na nakabenta ng limang libong Biblia sa loob ng isang taon. 
10 to 30 Bibles a day. Na-interview ni Canoli de Castro. Sabi ka, Roger, paano ka ba nakabenta ng, ng, uh, ng 30,000 diba, Bible in one year? Hindi wholesale, ha? House to house, office to office. Sabi ni ka, Roger, o oh, sige, sir, mga nga ako sa subdivision, dalhin mo yung camera mo, isum mo sa akin. Pakinggan mo, i-voice over mo. Kaya mo naman ang mga technology ng ABS-CBN, high tech, kahit ang layo, naririnig. Nangatok siya doon. Nak na lumabas yung housewife. Sabi ng housewife, ano po yun? Ay ako po ay nagtitititititinda ng Biblia. Gusto ho ba niyong bumili? O ikukwento ko na lang? O Iris, pag kumatok sa'yo yan, bibili ka ba? O ikukwento mo na lang? O baka nasa Book of Genesis ka pa? Lugi ka na sa Miriam. Definitely bibili agad, sir. Bibili ka na agad. Kaya yun ang record niya. So yun ang tinatawag na creative selling. So thank you, Iris. Let's have a one minute break. Inom lang ako. Okay, so thank you. So any question at this point? If there are no questions, there are no answers. Uh, sige, let's proceed to the 1990s. Ano naman ang nangyari noong 1990s? During the, the, the GMA period, the Ramos period, ano yun? Anong event ng 1990s ang nangyari? When we joined WTO, yung liberalization, globalization, privatization, binuksan ang Philippine market, pumasok ang sangkatutak ng mga from Germany, Diba? Japan, Nippon Life, mga American life insurance company pumasok. Binuksan ng shipping, pumasok ang mga shipping. Diba? Binuksan ang pharmaceutical, binuksan ang mga banking, nagpasukan itong mga <coughs> mga global leaders. Kasi ang labanan ng araw, dominance. Asia, Europe, world. So ano naging trend? <coughs> Number one, Leverage. Anong sabi ng leverage? Low entry, high exit. How to make it easier for the client to get in? How to make it difficult <coughs> for them to get out? Sample. Nung hawa ko yung Motorola, ako yung trainer ng Motorola University that time sa Singapore. Para mabenta yung aming Microtac. Microtac, di ba? Nagkaroon kami ng alliance. Partnership with Galeria Robinson. Mag-grocery ka lang ng 1,000, worth of grocery, piso na lang. Talaga piso na lang yung aming microtac na Motorola. Ubus ang stock namin. Pero merong contract. Kailangan gamitin mo yung aming service provider, Globe Smart, ng one year, two years. May lock-in period. Di ba? Libre na ang iyong cellphone, libre na ang laptop. Lock-in ka lang ng 2 years. Exclusive ka lang. So, yun ang low entry, high exit. Ginawa yun ng mega world. Doon sa Eastwood, marami bang tao may 300, 500 down payment? Wala. Marami bang tao may 10,000, 20,000? Yes. O, sige. So, yung iyon 30% down ng araw, divided by 10% per year. Kung kailan ka may pera, balloon once a year. Tapos, bayad ka lang ng 10,000 naman. Habang kinoconstruct mo. And then pagtapos na, ilo-loan mo lang sa banko, pag-ibig, para meron kang pambayad the next 5 or 10 years. Dinuplicate yan dito sa Forbes Wood. Dinuplicate yan sa iba-iba. Kasi yun ang concept ng mega world. Build a self-contained where you work, where you play, you live and pray. Self-contained, master plan, community. And then customer involvement. Ngayon, shared data na. That is secretive ang supplier, secretive sa customer. Ngayon hindi, you shared. Ikinoconnect na lang yung computer mo <coughs> tsaka computer nila. Para more or less, wala nang kayo ng ahente, malalaman nila nakakonect sa inventory, alam na nila kung ilan ang stock mo, lalo na kung consumer item. In fact, pag Pasko, ang dinadala dyan sa Unimart, isang container na freezer. Dahil sa, sa lakas ng mga di ba, mga pang na nakakonect na yung mga chicken doon sa kanilang freezer na isang container na 40 or 80 foot container. 
So basically, yun ang ini-involve na nila, nagko-connect na sila in terms of computer. So, ngayon, 2000 na. So, anong gagamitin natin? Breakthrough selling. Ano ngayon? The importance of principle, value-based, technology-driven. Magaling ka na sa artificial intelligence, deep learning. Magaling ka na sa nanotechnology. Magaling ka na sa algorithm. At saka marunong ka mag-behave, magbasa ng behavior. And of course, ang customer pa rin ang bida. Because there are, more, there are many supplier, di ba? Unlike ngayon, ang laki ng demand sa basic kasi lahat ng tao, di ba? Basic essential ang kailangan. So ang tanong ko lang, anong gagamitin mo sa palagay mo pang 2020? Kaya breakthrough selling 2020. Anong i-apply mo? Is it numbers game? Is it relationship selling? Is it solution selling? Is it partnership or team selling? Or is it, nandiyan na, obvious digital selling? So palagay niyo ano? All of the above. So halimbawa, yung nagsabi na nagsimula lang siya 2018, anong gagamitin ko para fast track to recovery? Fast start. Kung bagito ka pa lang, start with numbers game. Sige, hakot ka lang ng hakot. Kasi hindi, hindi ka pa marunong mag-qualify eh. Di ba? Ngayon, pag na-identify mo yung iyong qualified prospect, build relationship. And once you build relationship, high impact, solution oriented. Magaling ka mag-present. Di ba? Very unique. And then pag nabentahan mo yan, he becomes your partner for life. For referrals or third party reseller. Or, di ba? Sabi nga natin, you establish a long-term, mutually rewarding business relationship. So anong labanan ngayon? Sabi ko nga, ang ganda ng code, eh, magiging uto-uto ka. Uto-uto, combination. Di ba? Uto-uto, offline to online to offline. So yung flexibility, very important. Magaling ka both online at saka offline. Kaya nga, sabihin natin, ano ba ang Tagalog ng salesmanship? Pag sinabing magaling kang ahente, anong ibig sabihin? Ng salesmanship sa Tagalog. Sige. Sige natin, 5 seconds, kung sino makakatype. What is salesmanship in the Philippines setting? Magaling kang mang, ano yon? 5 seconds, 4 seconds, mambola, sige pa, 3 se seconds, manguto, 2 seconds, 1 second, sirip. Malakal. Okay, magaling mag-convince. Okay, sorry, nabuta na ng 5 seconds. Nakatipid na naman ako ng 400 pesos worth of this. <laughs> Di ba? So, ang ibig sa ito mo, ang karamihan ng image pa rin ng ahente, ano? Bulero. Sinungaling. Iisahan ka lang. Maboka. Madada. Kamag-anak ni David Copperfield. Now you see, now you don't. Pag nakuha ang komisyon, nawawala na. May disappearan ka. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Dong poll na yun, yung research. Baguhin mo yung image ng professional salesperson. Kung image ng ahente bulero, be sincere. Kung image ng ahente, ng kliyente sinungaling, be honest. Full disclosure. Kung image ng ahente ay kamag-anak ni David Copperfield, visibility. Don't forget your buyer. Don't let your buyer forget you. Pag ang image ng ahente maboka madada, learn to listen. Kung image ng ahente nakaisa ka lang, parang bateryang moto light pang matagalan. So yun lang, very simple process. Di ba? Baguhin mo lang yung pananaw and you'll be surprised. Ikaw ang magtatagal sa mundo because you are professional. Okay, next slide. Bibilisan ko na lang because I know we still have a less... Sir time. Jun, what is the yeah. ano? What is the answer? Saan? Ay, sa... Na, okay, yes. single moment. What, anong answer doon? Salesmanship is courtship. Magaling kang manligaw. Do manligaw. O tingnan mo, during courtship, traditionally, who talks? The gentleman talks and the lady listen. Engaged na, sinagot na ni Iris yung kanyang husband ngayon. So who now talks? Iris now talks and the gentleman listen. And then they get married. What happened? Oh, they both talk and the neighbor listen. 
So ganun na ngayon ang labanan, bilisan na. Pagka may kailangan, bilisan mo na agad, sagutin mo na agad. Nag-text sa'yo kahapon, sinagot mo next day. Ay wala na, nasa pansitan ka na, nasa kangkungan ka na. Kasi mas magaling yung tao, nagbebenta ka ng real estate, may, may asthma, I have to ask my wife. Ano nangyari? May, may, may coaching ahente magaling? na idaw na yung down sa bahay, na idaw na sa kotse. Kasi ngayon ang labanan is ganun. Bilisan because of technology. Lalo na mga generation Y, very impatient. Unlike kami Gen X, talagang nag, di ba, nagsimula kami sa tiyaga para may nilaga. Ay ngayon, ang mga Gen Y, di ba? sila nang nagmana ng aming kahirapan. They were not deprived when we, when we were doing struggling very hard. Do you agree? So, minsan, ganun ang different. O oh, sige, minisak ko lang. Last 10 minutes sa ating timetable kasi binigyan ako ng extension ng 10 minutes. Okay. So, ang approach, alam na nyo ito, pag umaatan kayo ng training program, lahat ng approach ng mga trainer, facilitator, resource person, person speaker, pare-pareho, cash. Di ba? Ang tanong lagi ng tao, ano bang bago? Knowledge. Kami mga trainer, di ba? Ang sinasabi ko, 35 years ago, yung pa rin. I don't need new product. I know I don't have new pro- program. I need only new audience. 'Di ba? Sabi ni Mr. Garing, narinig ko na 'yan eh. 35 years ago. Eh bakit tumatawa ka pa rin sa joke? So nare-remind ka. Ako bago, bagong gupit, bagong gising. So there is always something new. Number two, Attitude. Anong pananaw mo kasi may COVID? Is it fear or faith? Is it fear or courage? Diba? So, it's, it's, it's a test. Diba? Kaya sabi nga natin, itong, itong COVID na ito, diba? This is really, basically, a cleansing, a purging. Mabubuhay ka pala ng 5 to 8,000. Diba? Kaya mo palang mabuhay na walang kotse, na hindi po morma. Diba? So, yung mga excesses natin, mga toxins, it's about time to really remove the excesses because we are being cleansed. Para mapasama ka naman pagka nagkaroon ng uh, rupture, hindi na tayo maabot sa 20 seals na bubuksan. Diba? Nandun na tayo, hindi na tayo magdudusa. Eh kawawa yung hindi magbabago. They will experience all the worst of the world. Diba? Based on the book of Revelation. So, pananaw, attitude towards the situation. Then skills. Ano bang techniques, ano bang strategies ngayon? Against VUCA. Diba? Yan ang popular ngayon. Against the rapid change, the vulnerability. Against the uncertainties against the ambiguity sala sa lamig sala sa init against the complexity how do you simplify everything di ba so everything is mindset yung pananaw how you look at things at ano yung mga di ba mga skills mga creative uh, na gagawin natin para mag-survive para mag-thrive and of course para lalo kang magaling develop the habits so importante yung discipline ano ano yung mga habits of the champion Ah, sige, bilisan ko itong aking isang slide. Ito yung mahaba eh. O, ito. So basically, ito yung approach. So pag nagtitrain ako, in fact, magkakondak na huli ako. Medyo malakas na. So by next month, magkakondak na rin ako ng master class. Yung six module program ko. Ito yung base dito sa breakthrough selling. So I start with knowledge. Hindi na kita tuturuan about your product, inventory, financing, target market. Ikaw na magaling dyan. Ay tuturo ko sa iyo kay Dr. Rocano na tinuturo niya ng one month sa UP, ituturo ko sa iyo in two hours. Do you know your client? Well, di ba? Why do people behave the way they do and not otherwise? Ano yung social characteristic ng Pinoy na nag influence sa decision making? Kailangan unawain mo yun. The Filipino are very sensitive. So careful with your words. Filipino are very personalistic. Asikasuhin mo. Filipino are very familistic. So sa real estate, i-relate mo yung bahay para sa pamilya. Because ang pagbili ng real estate is a major decision, major investment na dapat mag-empathize ka as if ikaw ay buyer din. Aalagaan mo sila, babayaran ng 30 years yan eh. Ayaw nilang magkamali kasi pinaghirapan nila yan. So yun ang knowledge side. And then sa attitude, tatlo lang ang dinidiscuss ko dyan, second module. Karamihan ng ahente, nahihiya sa profession called selling. Di ba? Yung identity, ahente lang. Saan ka ba nagtatrabaho? Sa grand land lang. Ano bang trabaho mo? Ahente lang. Ano bang binebenta mo? Condominium lang. 
narinig ni Gary Balenciano, di bali na lang. Ito kasi wala kang identity. And then, ano ba yung tatlong characteristics ng Pinoy? Very basic. Para ikaw maka-fast start, ano yung basic characteristics ng Pinoy? Mamaya, sabihin ko. And the most important thing, you want to be successful? Anong kalaban ng success? Failure. So kung kalaban ng success, failure, anong gagawin mo? Para failure-proof ka. Anong gagawin nyo? Kasi pag salesperson ka, you will receive a lot of rejection. Tsaka na lang, pag-iisipan ko muna, meron ako, suki na ako rito, iwanan mo muna yung brochure. Nagkaroon ako ng bad experience sa ahente, loko-loko, tinakbuhan ako eh. Racket pala, scammer pala. O, oh, diba? Eh kung hindi ka marunong mag-handle ng rejection, hindi ka magtatagal. So ang ibig sabihin, develop the right attitude towards failure or rejection. Do you agree? Kaya binibigyan namin sila ng limang pananaw. Mamili ka, anong babagay sa'yo? Kung bagito ka, I never see failure as failure. It's just a learning experience. Charge to experience. Natuto ka lang. Ngayon, one year ka na, wala ka pa rin benta. Tinanong kita. Ay, sir, tinuro mo eh. It's just a learning experience. Oy, wala nang iskalahan dyan. Baguhin mo na. Di ba? Tatanggalin na kita. Puro ka pa rin learning experience. Ang kailangan ko, benta. Nadi-disapprove na yung credit card mo. Puro ka charge ng charge. So binabago ko. Is this the feedback to change? Kasi yung approach mo, masyado kang aggressive. O kaya tawanan mo lang. The see the humor in it. O kaya kung bagito ka, pinagpapraktisan mo lang. O kaya, tingnan mo as a game. A ratio business. So, binabago namin yung pananaw. Kaya nga nung natrain ko yung feel crap, may nagbebenta ng kaldero, 100,000, isang set, wala pang ulam. Bilib ako. Ako'y ahente ng kaldero. Ito, 100,000, wala pang ulam. Aba, ay napakamahal naman. Pagka hindi ka train, American training, sasagutin. Yes, but, yes, but, stainless steel naman. Yes, but may lifetime guarantee. Yes, but mamimineral. Hindi pwede sa Pilipinas yan. It will hurt feelings. Yes, but, yes, but, babatukan kita dyan. Ang Pilipino, you more. Diba? Pag sinabing ang mahal naman, ay talaga nga akong mamahalin to. Ma'am, pagbibili ho ba kayo ng bahay at lupa? Pag nabili nyo, mamahalin nyo o mumurahin nyo? Abay, siyempre mamahal. Kaya nga po, let me explain, bakit ito mamahalin? Kaya ang daming benta nila. Ang daming naging milyonaryo, nagbebenta ng kaldero. Diba? At nung umatend ako ng convention nila, 300 millionaires in one year, nakita ko yung mukha nila. Bakit sila magagaling? Ang mukha nila, talagang mukhang kaldero. Ang kakapal. Five ply, seven ply. <coughs> They do not take rejection personally. <coughs> so yun ang sabi ni Maggie Dila Riva, yung aking partner. Rejection is not a person. Rejection is just an event. Sa networking, some will, some won't. So what next? You only fail when you stop. Kaya meron kong ahente. Matatanggal na kasi. Di ba? Sa dalawang po, labing pito ang <coughs> nag-reject. He was about to surrender. Alam mo ang ginawa ko? Pinakanta ko ng journey. Ano yun? Ano yung sa kanta ng journey? Ano yung kanta ng journey? Yung believe. Don't stop believing na bago dumating yung 20, makakakuha ka rin ng qualified client. Parang relo. Sa 24 hours, pumili ka. Dalawang beses kang tatama. Because everything is timing. So yun. So maganda na yung attitude. Anong mangyayari? Pag maganda yung knowledge, maganda yung attitude, ano yung inside? You develop confidence. Di ba? You develop tiwala. Na kahit anong talong, nasasagot mo technically, na handle mo behaviorally. Then we go to skills. Dalawa lang. Communication skills, selling skills. So ano yung communication skills? Paggamit ng words of a professional. Not strict language. I'll exaggerate ha, sa real estate. Kung wala akong training, ganito ako mag-present. Ganito yung narration ko. Ma'am, ang total cost price ho nung one bedroom ay 3 million. Pwede ko kayong mag-down payment, 10%. So ang gastos nyo ay 300,000. So kung 5 years to say, ang monthly payment nyo ay ganito. So ito na ho ang kontrata. Pakipirman ho ng reservation. 
Thank you for listening to my sales talk. Alam naman nyo, nangungumisyon lang ako. By the way, nabentahan ko yung iyong kaibigan. Why don't you buy also? It's a good deal. Matatakot pag ginamit. Ahenting, ahente. Pero pag nakausap mo, graduate namin. Tingnan mo ang dating. Ma'am, ang total investment to for that, three, for that one bedroom is 3 million. Gusto nyo, mamili ho kayo. Pwede kayong mag-initial investment 10, 20, 30 para ang monthly investment nyo ay ganito na lang. Depende sa cash flow nyo. So ma'am, ito na ho yung inyong agreement. Paki-autograph paki, paki naman with your approval. Paki-approve, paki paki-authorize. I'll process this agreement as soon as possible. Ma'am, thank you ho for getting involved in this wonderful opportunity. May dami ma'am, as a reference, ito ho yung listahan ng mga kliyente ko na may permission ko. Ako, sa akin, that they are now Diba, happily involved with their project. They own one of our units sa etc. etc. Diba, mas maganda pakinggan? So yun ang tinatawag na glamour words. Para mga lalaki, no? Si Jeff, pag manliligaw yan, taunang tanong agad ni Jeff. Tatanong kung taga saan? Sabi ko, Jeff, natatakot siya pag sinabing taga Albay. Sabi ko, bakit katako sa taga Albay? Eh, magastos eh. Albay it, Albay that. Not, not just by the word na taga Albay, natatakot. Ay sa Maynila, saan ka takot? Pag taga-kain ta, bakit? Abay, kain tayo, kain tayo, magastos din. So yun, gumagamit siya ng words that creates fear. Gagamit ka ng words that creates desire. Yan ang glamour words, not rejection words. So that's another module. And then third, tuturuan ka namin para magtanong, para hindi ka maboka, madada. Kasi traditionally, tell-tell tayo eh. Ma'am, I'm the best salesperson. I'm a licensed broker. We are the number one, etc., etc. Anong pakailam ko? The customer does not care what you know. They care what how you care. Di ba? If you talk about yourself, I don't care. If you talk about me, I care about you. Kaya very important matuto sila ng reflex question. Ay reflex, do something fast without thinking. Yung tawag doon ng SPR, no? Yung stimulus, pause, response. Traditionally, pag nakarinig ka ng stimulus, natitigilan ka before you give response. Pag nakabisado mo yung reflex, hindi ka matitigilan. Pag sinabing ang mahal naman ito, bakit sa palagay niyo, magkano ba ito dapat? Sige, iwanan mo pag-aaralan ko. Maganda. Hindi mo naman pag-aaralan yan kung hindi ka interesado eh. O dyan, balik ka na lang next week. Ano kayong convenient? Monday, Tuesday, morning, afternoon, 3 or 5. May impress ang kliyente. I'm talking to a professional. Yun ang tinatawag na reflex. Kaya sa training, tanungan yan. Ahente, kliyente, tanungan. Kung sinong sumagot, talo. Ang matalo, pinapasayaw namin. Ang manalo, pinapakanta namin. Until makabisado nila yung scripted namin na anticipated objection, nasasagot agad namin. And then, next is role play, selling skills. Tatlong role play lang yan. KRA ang tawag niyan. KRA. Tatlo lang. Dati ang haba. Ano? Prospecting, contact, qualification, presentation. Handing objection, closing. Ngayon, tatlo na lang. How do you make an initial qualifying call? Pag may nakausap ka, kinakualify mo agad. And then, how do you conduct a high-impact site inspection? And how do you make follow-up? So, in our role play namin yung scripted, naka-video yan. Para makita nila yung sarili na before and then after nung binigyan namin ng script at saka ng mga situation, paano na after. And they will be surprised. They will see the difference. Because the best feedback is video. Hindi nagsisinungalit yan. So ano mangyayari pag may skills ka? Meron ka ng kayabangan. What's the difference between kayabangan and yabang? Kayabangan is, ang ibig sabihin, skillful ka na. Pag yabang, salita lang yon. Pag sinabing may kayabangan, tahimik lang yan. ba? Diba? Don't say it, just do it. And then next, develop naman the habits. Ano yung habits of the champion? Creative selling, time planning, goal setting. ba? Diba? Binibigyan namin sila ng commitment goal. Pag meron kang, ambisyon, meron kang ambition sa buhay, may goal ka, sumisigla ka, may purpose ka pa. Hindi ka pa kukunin ni Lord kasi may purpose ka sa. So anong nadidevelop? Sigla. Enthusiastic. Kaya pag meron ka ng ganitong qualification, tiwala, sigla, kaya, anong mangyayari sa'yo? Mahusay ka. Magaling. Kaya meron kaming slogan eh. ba? Diba? Yan ang slogan namin. So, excuse me lang. One minute, merong senior citizen break. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's let's pause for a moment for a quick break and we will be right back. Every coffee needs a lotus. Sir June, are you ready to yes, resume? Yeah, yes. okay. Senior citizen, eh, no? sabi nga ni Dr. Willie Ong, pagka ikaw ay 60 years old, I expect ang kapitbahay mo, restroom. <laughs> yeah, that's why mayroong... Oh, so ito, ito yung summary, based on the end objective. Basahin niyo yan. Hindi ko nababasahin. Di ba? Kasi uubuhin lang ako. <coughs> Nakita niyo? Would you like me to read it, Sir Jun? Yeah, with, with emotion pa. With, with emotions? Pa. Feel na feel pa. With action. O oh, sige, one, two, three. Okay. Kapag may tiwala sa sarili, masigla ang damdamin. Kahit anong problema, kakayanin. O, oh, diba? With, with feeling, okay, with feeling Feel na feel yan. <laughs> Pero, masyado naman personal yan. Masyado. Problema. Oh, diba? Palitan natin yung problema ng... Kota. Kasi lahat tayo may kota sa buhay, kota sa management. Di ba? O, pakiulit na lang. Repetition daw is the mother of learning. O, okay. One more time. One okay. more time. Motion with all your body, mind, strength, spirit, and soul. Lahat na, maglalago to ka ng buto. <laughs> o, sige. One, two, three. Kapag may tiwala sa sarili, masigla ang damdamin. Kahit anong kota, kakayanin. Okay. So, thank you. Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> so with that, kung meron kayong mga tanong, di ba? Sasummarize ko lang. Ano yung objective ng master class? Number one, you develop an attitude which is solution-oriented action rather than problem-oriented <coughs> inactivity. Number two, you will learn glamour words. Third, you will learn the reflex question. Four, Magiging hindi barabara, strategic, step by step. And five, let's face it, <coughs> technology. You will learn that technology <coughs> to accelerate transaction. So, yan ang ating end objective. At saka ito yung aming application. Ito yung journey mo. Sabi ni Juan. Again, let's read. Si Iris, tagabasa na naman. Sige nga, Iris, one more time. Last time. Kung anong pananaw ay siyang nakikita, kung anong nakikita ay siyang nararamdaman, kung anong nararamdaman ay siyang isinasagawa. Okay, so yun ang sabi ni Dr. Rocano. Tinagalog lang namin. Everything is mindset. How you think is how you believe. How you believe is how you feel. How you feel is how you act. So ngayon, di ba? Nakita naman natin, pandemic. So anong tingin mo sa pandemic? How will you set your mind? Because how you think is how you believe. Di ba? So anong gagawin mo? Magpa-planning ka. You pray, you plan. And then action. Di ba? So basically yun. Thinking, believing, feeling, and doing. Yan ang journey. Now, sige, ito, titingnan natin eh, kung sino makakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
I-type lang nyo kung sinong una. Sa palagay nyo, sa tingin nyo, sa wari nyo, sa damdam nyo. Sino ang pinakamagaling na ahente sa buong mundo? Tao ito ha, tao. Existing, buhay pa. Five seconds. Sino? Okay. Ako, si Jack, from Maria Kilitsa. Si Jude like... Daring. Si Eddie. Sinong Eddie? Eddie ako. Jack. Sino pa? <laughs> Sino pa? Si Jack Ma. O sige, tip. Four more seconds. Bumisita sa Pilipinas five years ago. Three seconds. Sino yun? Taga Italy. Ayun, may nakita ko na nalo. Si Pope Francis. Pope Francis. Kasi si Pope Francis, nung nakita ko sa Pilipinas, ah, mga five years ago, tingnan mo ang itsura niya. Siya nagsya nagsabi niya. Sabi niya, gentlemen, ladies, If you can do the greatest good to the most number of people within your reach, you'll get rich. Totoo naman. The more you service to a lot of people, the more you are paid in direct proportion to the service you render. At anong nakita kong picture sa kanya? Ayan, naka-attache case. Siya ang pinakamagaling na ahente. Kasi, di ba? Book of Revelation. Dadaling ka either sa broad road of self-destruction, makamundong pagnanasa, or road to salvation. ba? Diba? So siya ang greatest commissioner. Kaya bumabalik siya siguro si St. John the Baptist. Repent, repent, meaning change. Change. At last, ito lang yung pinagbili ni Dr. Rocano bago sa kinuha ni Lord seven years ago. Sabi niya, June, pakisabi naman to every end of the seminar. Kasi ang training program is a power full of techniques and strategies. Baka magamit sa masama. Kailangan magamit sa mabuti. So ito ang sabi niya. Ang talino, yan ay biyaya ng may kapal, magpasalamat ka. Always grateful. Ang yaman at karangalan, yan ay bigay ng tao at lipunan, magpakumbaba ka. Be humble. Humility. Ang yabang, ego, ginawa ng sarili, mag-ingat ka. Hindi na lang sinama, sinama yung last. Tarantado ka. ba? Diba? So basically, yan ang kanyang message. Ang talino, Di ba? Magpasalanat ka. Be grateful. Ang yaman at karangalan, be humble. Ang yabang, nakabenta ka lang ng isa, akala mo kung sino ka na. Nasustain mo ba? Yan. So again, maganda yung definition. Bakit ang Pilipino magsusurvive? We can break through, pass. We can pass through the COVID. Why? Because a Filipino is like a mythological bamboo who sways valiantly with the winds of misfortune only to rise cut and scap when the tempest is over to meet again the warmth of the morning sun. Ganon kagaling ang Pilipino na sabi nila eh, ilan na yun ang Pilipino overseas? 14 million na worldwide. Ipidala mo sa 140 countries. In six months to one year, adapted na sila. Akala mo, Amerikano na, European na, Afrika na, etc. Ay sabi ko, Dr. Rocano, English yan eh. Sabi niyo, English will stimulate the mind. Pakitagalog naman para it will touch the heart. Tinagalog, mas matindi. Ang Pilipino ay maihalin tulad mo sa isang maalamat na puno ng kawayan na magiting na humahapay dahil sa bugso ng kalikasan. Ngunit bumabangon muli upang harapin ang maaliwalas na bukang liwayway. Pag siya ang nagsasabi niyan, goosebump ka. Original eh. O di ba? So, yan ang kanyang message. Why we will survive? Because we are like the mythological bamboo as used by Marcos, si Malakas at Maganda. Nung bumukas ang bamboo, dumating si Malakas at si Maganda. Ah, Di ba? Yan ang talagang original legend natin. So, with that, uh, see you flying. Let's fly together. I'm open for some questions, clarification, violent objection, or vehement opposition. If there are no questions, there are no answers. Okay, ready for Q&A. Thank, thank you so much, Sir June. I am proud Filipino. And um, before we move on to our question and answer portion, Sir June, we will pause for a moment. We'll let you um, drink some water, breathe some air for a moment, and um, just for a quick break, and we will be right back. Okay, so thank you. Sí. 
Every coffee needs a lotus. Okay, before we resume to our uh, question and answer portion, I would like to encourage our participants to please type in your questions at the Q&A box now. And if you want to ask your questions live, please click the raise hand button and I will call on your name. And for the Facebook and YouTube live viewers, please type in your questions on the comment box. Okay, let's start. Are you ready, Sir June? So, Boy Scout, ready, ready, oh, ready. Boy, Boy Scout. Scout. Oh, by the way, Scout. before we move on, I would like to greet, of course, Mr. Chris Randolph, one of our partner speakers. A happy, happy birthday. Today is his birthday. And I would like also to greet and acknowledge our participants who are um, watching right now from Baguio, Bulacan, Cavite, Cebu, Davao, La Union, Pampanga, Quezon Province, Rizal Province, Rojas City, Capiz, Tacloban, and Tugegarao City. Thank you for um, joining us this afternoon and for watching our e-learning session today. So, I have a question here from Jaisil. Sir Jun, given the current situation we're in, which is uh, the pandemic, what do you think will be the best approach in selling? Okay, so um, follow up uh, question which area in the sales cycle do you pay extra attention to improve on? Okay, so basically, ang message ng breakthrough selling is unang una back to basics, back to fundamental. Diba? So, very important yung back to basics and back to fundamental. Pag nag, pag, uh, nag back to basics ka, meaning Diba? Follow the cash. Importante, diba? yung situational analysis, knowledge, alamin mo yung situation. Diba? Kailangan up-to-date ka kung ano yung plano ng gobyerno, anong plano ng WHO para you can design kung ano yung iyong action plan. Diba? So yung mindset, develop the right attitude. Kasi unang-una talaga, attitude eh. Attitude towards failure and rejection. Because you will encounter a lot of failure and rejection. Takot ang tao mag-invest. Ngayon, kasi I'm sure, eh, very uncertain. So, ang trabaho ng ahente is how to help the client rationalize na tama ang decision niya. Kasi ayaw nilang magkamali. Parang sa real estate, no? It's difficult to make a decision kasi 30 years kung babayaran yan. Ayaw nilang magkamali. So, ang trabaho natin is to help the client make the right decision. Kailan yung decision nila kailangan ma-reinforce ma na tama yung decision ko. So you have to give all the data, all the information na right now, para mga Chinese, in crisis, there is always opportunity. Puro bargain yan. Ang dami ng discount, ang gaganda ng mga terms. You have to take the opportunity. Not necessarily na maging opportunista, 
But basically, ganun talaga ang karamihan ng mga businessman because of the situation. Of course, ang pinaka-importante, magaling magbenta, mahina mag-close, kailangan mag-focus ka dun sa like sa real estate, closing without tripping. Kasi nga, hindi ka pwedeng pumasyal eh because of the mga social distancing at saka mga preparations. Kaya turuan mo sila sa virtual. ba? Diba? Virtual tour, virtual payment, everything is virtual. Kaya nga para kang hindi ka na seller ngayon eh. Para ka ng assistant buyer, para ka ng consultant, para ka ng trusted expert advisor, para ka ng customer themselves. So focus on different strokes for different folks. Pag na-master mo na yung preparation. Pag nasanay ka na, the moment you open your mouth, you're already closing. nag inquire pa lang. Sasabihin mo, ma'am, gusto ba niyong magpa-reserve dito o sa opisina? Ma'am, gusto ba niyong ipadala yung check o i-deposit na lang yung sa banko? Magdagamitin mo na yung mga technique para mabilis yung transaction. Basically, an application of the skills. Fast, mabilis. At saka kailangan, the norms of the ngayon, yung norms natin sa ating culture, times of crisis. During times of crisis, ano yung gagawin nila? Ano expected sa atin to start? Huwag agad negosyo. Kailangan muna, number one, sympathy. Makikiramay ka sa lahat ng tao. Number two, show compassion. Maawa ka. And number three, you show your depth of gratitude. Kasi tinulungan ka before. Eh. Reciprocity. So yun ang basic norms during crisis. Sympathy, compassion, at saka depth of gratitude. Then you go to business. People buy people first. So I hope that uh, satisfies the first two questions. Okay, any other more questions? While waiting for the other participants' questions, Sir June, I would like to read first some gratitude uh, comments from our participants. So um, from Geraldine Galapia, thank you po, Sir June. Dami ko pong natutunan. Alvin, from Alvin, um, Puraganan, much appreciate and awesome, Sir June. Okay, who else? Okay, from Sir Alex, he is from Jeddah, OFW from Jeddah. Ang galing po, Sir June, love, love, love. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. From Sir Raymond De Vera, thanks, Sir June, for your passion and compassion. Okay, any other more questions? I have uh, another question here. How to manage operations at a loss in order to survive and finally recover? Do you have okay. any... Um... Kaya, yan ang sitwasyon ngayon. Let's face it. Kung sino ang mga kapagsakripisyo na kaya pa na matulungan yung tao, yung utang na loob na yan, hindi mababayaran yan ng, ng pera. Utang na loob utang sa labas na babayaran. Di ba? 90 billion na lang, dollars na yata ang inutang natin eh. Pero yung utang na loob, it needs another utang na loob. So, pagka na kaya mong anybody who can survive and thrive <laughs> during this pandemic, hindi makakalimutan ng tao yan. Pero wag namang kwan, dole out, di ba? Sometimes, ngayon you give you give uh, you give food, di ba? You give fish muna and then teach them how to fish. Kasi importante muna ngayon mga sikmura. Kaya gano'n ang ginagawa ng gobyerno. Papagbili namin yung mga mga NPA dyan, mga non-performing assets, para lang mapakain. Kasi magkakagulo talaga because of the situation. Pagka talaga yung mga tao, wala nang makain. Kaya kami, tinuturoan namin silang paano magbenta. Any product or services, magluto ka, magdeliver ka, or whatever. Kung ano yung demand, gawin mo. Lahat may kailangan. Lalo na ngayon, basic, essential, it's a must. Thank you, Sir Jun. Um, a comment from Mark Camposano. He is our uh, one of our YouTube viewers. Thank you, Sir Jun and Ma'am Irish of Ariva Academy for the informative and great learning webinar. And also, um, Antonio, Sir Antonio Alvarado, napakagaling at malalim. Salamat po, Sir Jun. Yan. And uh, since we don't have any questions, Sir Jun, what is your... Um, message, uh, parting words to our viewers and participants. So first, uh, let me thank all the participants for going back to basics. So very important na talagang we are being tested as far as the situation is concerned. Tinetest yung ating faith, yung fear versus faith. 
di ba? Ang daming mga advantages na nangyayari. Sabi nga natin, let's concentrate on the rewards of success, not on the penalties of failure. Kukwento ko lang ng mabilis, nung martial law, nag-invest ang Mr. Donut at Dunkin' Donut, master franchise. Sabi ni Mr. Donut, alam mo, paano yan? Ang laki ng investment natin, martial law, magkakagulo lang. Sabi ni Dunkin' Donut, nag-drawing siya ng donut. At sabi nung nag-drawing siya ng donut, nilagyan niya ng mga sugar. Do not concentrate on the whole. You concentrate on the donut. So since they concentrate on their business, ngayon they're the, the most successful master franchise. Because they focus on the benefits, they focus on the rewards of success, they focus on on good things, not bad things. Pagka, ba? Yun ang computer eh. Negative in, negative out. Positive in, positive out. So kung maganda ang mga pananaw mo, lahat nagsisimula sa pananaw, kung anong pananaw ay siyang nakikita, kung anong nakikita, siyang nararamdaman, kung anong nararamdaman, siyang sinasagawa. So start with your mindset. Ba? Pananaw. Bayanihan. Let's, diba? Sama-sama. Kayang-kaya. Thank you so much, Sir John. Okay. Um, would you like to actually, we had three questions here in the question uh, Q&A box. Would you like to answer them, sir? Yeah, sure. No problem. I, I have time. Quick lang po from Sir Alvin. The principles you shared is really of general application to practicality. Whatever product or service we want to sell. But at this, at this period, which product or service you believe can we focus on to sell that will attract better traction to customers? Uh, to consumers, sorry. Okay. Ang sagot dyan, follow the money. Follow the you money. Follow the money. Tingnan nyo sa government. Saan ba sila nag invest Puro mga protection, puro mga, di ba, mga basic essential. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Doon ka mag-invest doon sa ganong area. Yung ang maraming pera, yung mga nagmamanufacture ng mga alcohol, nag mga re reconstruct ng mga building, office, retail, kasi nire-reconfigure lahat. Huwag mo nang puntahan yung mga sa hotel, retail, etc., etc. Talagang bagsak sila, whether you like it. Sa Green Hills nga lang, eh, ang mga Muslim dito, siguro 25% na lang ang may pwesto, binibenta na lang ng 50% para makonvert lang yung inventory nila. So yun, follow the money. Parang yung, 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 yung sinabi ng judge na isang tao doon, Pedro, this is the third time you're in front of me. Why is it that you're always caught inside the bank? Ang sagot niya ng robber. Your honor, that's where the money is. So follow the money. Kung saan nilalagay ng tao. Kung saan nilalagay ng tao. naman ng bulsa yan. Kung alam mo kung saan napupunta, yun ang puntahan mo. Okay. So I think we're good since we have limited time already. With that, Sir Jun, thank you so much for, for generously sharing with us your salesmanship journey. It was indeed a walkthrough to your journey, salesmanship journey. Thank you so much for giving us a tip, strategies. Ako din, na-refresh din ako, Sir, Sir Jun. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so thank you. Iko-quote ko lang si Vilma Santos do sa kanyang pelikula. Sure, sir. Sige pa. Anong sabi ni Vilma Santos nung pinortray niya yung developer na taga Greenfield? You know, if I put a smile at the end of my presentation, it means to say, I have done something good. So everybody smile. Okay, so thank you. Definitely, and sir. Sir Jude. Ako din ang smile okay. for a wonderful thank presentation. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. And of course, Arriva Academy would like to thank the following win-win partners. We would like to thank our official media partner, Art Plus Magazine. Digital media partners, Focus Media. Globaltronics. CD Advertising Ventures. Outcome, Elevate Media. For women partners, thank you to Brother, Faber Castell, Gluta C, Moringa O2, KFC, Mr. Donut, Tokyo Tokyo, Lotus Biscoff, Boss Job, Sir Technology Inc., Finma Properties, Salary Jet, Frontier Software, Ilawi Korea, Kitosin and Carpo Consulting, 
Enchanted Kingdom, Disperse, Cosmotech Philippines Inc. Virtual preschool, uh, Mindchum's virtual preschool program. To register, please call them at 0906 4860710 or email them at disakanabe at mindchumps.org. Essential Safety Products PH for your personal protective equipments for your health and safety compliance requirements. Please email them at essentialsafetyph at gmail.com. And if you want to place your ads here, advertise your company, your services, your logo, have a brand exposure to our viewers from Zoom, LinkedIn, FB, and YouTube, please email us at marketing at Stay on top of our insights and updates. Stay connected. Visit us on our social media sites. Join the Ariva Academy Facebook group. Like the Ariva Academy Facebook fan page. Follow the Ariva Academy link in Facebook. Link in page and visit us on our website. It's www.ariva.com.ph. And if you miss watching the e learning session with Mr. Jun Gary and our previous e learning sessions, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Ariva Academy and Ariva Talks. Again, Ariva Academy and Ariva Talks. For our upcoming online learning sessions, we would like to invite you to register. Fifth, Effective Administration of Salary and Payroll Law. This will be tomorrow and on Wednesday, July 21 and 22. And this will be discussed by Mr. Ronaldo Torla. Results-Driven Internal Controls, Audit and, business, and New Business Normal, Thursday, July 23. Fundamentals of Cash Flow Management and Forecasting, this will be on July 24 and July 25. And of course, we would like to invite you Health and Safety Works Virtual Forum. This will be on July 27 and 28, 10 to 12 in the afternoon and 2 to 5 uh, p.m. in the afternoon as well. How to manage the millennials in the workplace, Tuesday, July 28. And this will be discussed by Mr. Jonathan Yamut. This is only $799 per participant. Crisis Management Strategies in Sales, and we have invited Coach MJ Tolan to discuss this session. This will be on Thursday, July 30. This is only 899 per participant. We would like to invite you work process operational excellence, improvement tools in the new normal landscape. No business should be left behind. This will be on Thursday, July 30. Strategic downsizing in the time of COVID-19, reducing team members in a legal, fair, and humane way. This will be on Monday, August 3. Please do join us. Boosting productivity, time management, best practices for remote teams. This will be on Tuesday, August 4, and we have invited Coach Randy Esguera to discuss this session. Employees withholding tax, Tuesday, August 4, and we have invited Attorney Nelson Gargolas to discuss this session. Business Rescue Project, Opportunity to Reinvent. Opportunity to reinvent yourself, mindset, realizations during COVID-19 and SWOT analysis. This will be discussed by Mr. Vishnu Anna Paredi from Malaysia. Again, August 4, Tuesday. And of course, please do save the dates. October 26 to 30. This is a five-day virtual journey. We would like to invite you to the Asia's highly anticipated HR learning event. We're calling on HR professionals out there. Please do join us on the Asia HRD Summit 2020, the Philippine HR Congress 2020, Transcendence, Converging People, Science, and Technology. For further details, please do visit our website, www.ariva.com.ph. And if you want to invite Sir Jun Garing, our Arriva partner speakers, and do an exclusive e-learning session for your company, for your team, please do call me at 0916-695-4418 or email me at irish.arivaacademy at gmail.com. And that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Hope you learned a lot from Mr. Jun Garing. Again, we would like to invite you, this will be tomorrow and on Wednesday, 5th Effective Administration of Salary and Payroll Law. Again, this is Irish Malonda Samson 
in Arriva, it's all about being better. Please stay safe and healthy. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.